Raw materials, manufacturing, and conveyor belts. Factory simulations can be a logistical nightmare. So do you think you're up to the task of getting these new sim games in order? Let's find out and welcome to the most mind-breaking new logistic factory automation games upcoming in 2024. Going a short way out into space, the crust. Your lunar colony holds the last hope for humanity. A narrative-led lunar colony sim, this is a game where you build on and beneath the surface, explore the moon, and expand into interplanetary space. Harness lunar resources and you get to shape the destiny of mankind as a CEO. So this game is all about building up a manufacturing colony on the moon. You lay the groundwork for exploration of deep space as you mine valuable resources, automate production, manage scientific expeditions, and just explore what is on the moon. You get to trade and influence the world market. You assemble a team of heroes because people are your most valuable resource and you gotta keep track of your colonists' health, mood, and needs. You unravel mysteries that you might not be expecting and you'll be facing dangers and risks where only the strongest will survive. Generally, this looks pretty cool. I mean, it's on the moon, so things are kind of gray, but in terms of exploration and mining, I mean, there's also surface and underground, there's the tech tree, there's a lot here. And it looks like it will satisfy a lot of you who are looking for this kind of automation kind of building game. And you won't have to wait too long. It's planning for a quarter one 2024 release, so the crust is on the way and it's not too far away. Staying back on the ground, revive and prosper. Here you gather resources, you build a base, automate and optimize. Perfect. It's a voxel base building strategy game where you remodel terrain and cultivate food with six mutants and their golem sidekick. <laughs> So there's the twist here. You produce and deliver by conveyor belts and catapults as you try to revive and prosper, hence the name of the game. Creativity is important here as you construct your thriving base in your own style. And you need to put an end to manual excavation by automating it with various digging and crafting machines. The catapults are a nice touch as well, which not many of these automation games involve catapults, so that's an interesting one. There are tireless golems that you can craft who will continue to work and repair and maintain things. But you also have to prepare for changing weather that can impact your base. And all of this is taking place in a living ecosystem. So if you get a bit too carried away, there may be consequences. So keep that in mind as you build and produce as much as you can. This is another one where you don't have to wait very long. It's planning to release into early access on the 5th of December 2023, with development continuing into 2024. So it's a little unclear when final release will be, but there is pretty much a plan for what they want to add. If you're unsure, however, at the time of recording, there is a free demo on Steam, so you can go ahead and check out Revive and Prosper to see if it's something you want to jump into at the start of Early Access, or maybe wait until it's more developed. And then for one that we've had a pretty good look at, Desynced. Here we have a sci-fi strategy game with fully customizable units and behaviors. You gather, build, research, and explore the world alone or with friends as you unveil the mystery of an AI on the edge of self-awareness and uncover the hidden truth in this blend of kind of strategy, kind of automation, kind of exploration type of game. So your ship has become damaged and you send drones to the surface of an unknown planet. 
to build up the facilities and harvest the resources needed to repair. But are you truly ready for what you're going to find? Either way, this game is all about automation, customization, researching. Generally, it looks pretty good on the eyes as well. And there is modding support with Steam Workshop integration, so the community will be adding even more to this. Desynced released into early access towards the end of 2023, so it's been out for a little bit at this point, and it's received very positive reviews at about 85% at the time of making this video. And they are planning for a full release release in 2024, but of course with any early access games early days, it can take longer. But right now the plan is 2024 for a full release of Desynced. Next up we've got one that's already kind of popular. Captain of Industry. You land your crew of survivors on an abandoned island and survive. You mine raw materials, grow food, build factories, manufacture goods, research new tech and trade with others. The goal is to become an industrial superpower, but that's not gonna be easy. You have to not just grow and expand, but just kind of stay alive as well. You can easily see as much as you want of this game because it's been in early access since about the middle of 2022. So it's approaching two years in early access at the moment, and they are planning for two to three years in early access, meaning a 2024 full release is the idea for Captain of Industry, but we'll see if they can stick to that. In this game, you are manufacturing products, you build vehicles and transport the things you manufacture. There are, of course, conveyor belts and pipes for moving things around. And you mine resources on fully dynamic terrain, which changes as you mine things up. Don't forget the farming, the kind of city building aspect where you grow your settlement and provide for your people. There's complex oil and chemical refineries. There's trade and eventually you go to space. You research and develop your way to space flight and launching a rocket as a true test of your settlement's accomplishments. So all of this down here is to get up there. This game is already well liked. It's got thousands of user reviews on Steam at 90 plus percent positive, which I do know Steam user reviews are not the be all and end all of how good or bad a game is, but 90 plus percent positive generally means it's doing really well. So you can jump into Captain of Industry right now, it seems like a safe bet, or you can see if you want to wait for the full release, which should be in 2024. Hey, now that you're a bit into the list, I'm sure you're enjoying it. So it would be greatly appreciated if you can like the video. That would be very kind of you. Thank you. All right, next game, Automation Station. This is a more indie development where you explore a mysterious planet, harvest and refine resources, discover new technologies, craft machines, and set up automated factories. As the name implies, it's all about automation. Collecting, crafting, and innovating in an expanding world where you discover various things. There are lots of upgrades and vehicles to try out. And it's supposed to be a physics sandbox where resources and items can be neatly slotted into machines and conveyor belts for a tidy factory, or they can be freely dropped wherever. So the resources and the things that you're messing with aren't just like items that are dropped onto tiles, it's actually using a physics system, which does set it apart from many of the other games on this list. Now, this is a more indie development. So as you can see, there's no official trailer for me to show off. I can just show you these screenshots, but there's some nice GIFs that you can have a look on the Steam page. And there are regular dev logs, which update how this game is going. But of course, being indie, we don't know when this will release, whether it'll go into early access or whatever. But it seems cool. It's seems interesting and it's still in development so we can keep an eye on automation station but until we can get our hands on it we can move on to the next game for another popular one plan b terraform you get to transform a lifeless rock into a lush and habitable world you build trucks trains and sprawling factories on an enormous hexagonal planet you grow its population to millions, and you can enjoy a dynamic simulation of atmosphere, temperature, water, and forests. This one 
is very cool and already very popular as it entered early access early in 2023. Two very positive reviews, another one already at 90 plus percent positive. And the plan is to fully release sometime early in 2024, but of course, could take longer than that. But it should be a safe-ish bet that this is going to be a 2024 release. We'll see. So as is expected with these kind of games, you are extracting minerals. But the goal of this one is to terraform a planet. There are terraforming devices such as greenhouse gas factories to warm up the atmosphere. Then you get to make it rain for rivers and oceans. So this kind of feels like, you know, that game Terra Nil, where you're sort of restoring a barren environment. Well, this is sort of like that. But instead of a puzzle building game, it is more of a factory automation simulation game with some slight city building elements, which I'm sure you can see the appeal of, hence the popularity. So yeah, you can check this out right now, another safe bet if you want to jump into it, or you can wait for full release for Plan B Terraform. All right, now for a weird one, and I'm pretty sure this is the right genre, but it's kind of strange. It's called Moose Miners. In this game, you take control of a mining operation run by Moose. They mine and sell gems, you need to decide where to spend the profits, and you hire more miners and upgrade their gear. You buy new rails and mine carts to get deeper into the mine, and the deeper you get into the mine, the more valuable gems you find. But of course, as you can see from the trailer, this one is not quite like the other games on the list. But I'm pretty sure it's still a factory slash automation slash production kind of simulation game. So you mine and collect all sorts of stuff, you process and sell your findings, and you expand your production to what seems like insane scales. There's 19 different gem types, there's a huge map with over 100 million gems to mine, and it has kind of a Dwarf Fortress-ish vibe to it, but it's moose and mining. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what to really say about this one, but maybe you're interested. Because there is a free demo on Steam, which I think for a game that looks as weird as this one, you need a free demo to see if it's actually something you want to do. So go ahead and try Moose Miners, and it might be something you're into. And it's planning to release in quarter 2 2024, in which case you can mine gems with moose. Meese. Mooses. <laughs> Okay, I know it's been a while, but Dyson Sphere Program. This has been in early access since the start of 2021, so it has been a long time in development. And usually I don't keep listing games forever, but it's a factory games list and Dyson Sphere Program has overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, 97% positive, so people love this one and it's getting some pretty big updates over the years. Now if you don't know this game, this is a game where you build the most efficient intergalactic factory in space, where you harness the power of stars, collect resources, plan and design production lines and develop your interstellar factory from a small space workshop to a galaxy-wide industrial empire. And this game has come a very long way since the beginning of Early Access. Most notably, the combat aspect has expanded a lot and the combat system Rise of the Dark Fog is slated to release in December 2023. So it's still continuing to get big updates and there's a lot more in the game now. If you haven't looked at the game for a couple years, then you might want to check back in. And, you know, it's still technically in early access, but the original plan was to only be in early access for one year. So it's just blasted well past that. So who knows how long Dyson Sphere program will stay in early access. It's one of those games where you can pretty much play it now and it feels complete. It's just continuing to get bigger updates. But on this particular factory list, I'm still gonna mention it because it's getting some game-changing big updates and it's a pretty popular factory game. Okay, now moving on to some first-person automation games, Astro Colony. Explore an endless universe and create the most efficient constellation of colonies. You build conveyor systems to automate production, take care of astronauts and their needs, and you establish new colonies as part of an intergalactic simulation. 
So this one has been in early access since the end of 2022. Two very positive reviews, 80 plus percent. But they did say that they plan for the game to be in early access for about a year. And we are past that. So it should be early 2024 for a full release for Astro Colony. But we're not quite sure how long it'll take. Now, this game is a game of automation and exploration in an infinite procedurally generated universe with fully destructible voxel planets. This sounds like it's a lot. You move stations, you dock them and create a galaxy network. There's a variety of biomes and hundreds of plants across the various planets you'll be exploring. There's of course conveyor belts and pipes for automation. You have to take care of your astronauts that you recruit and fulfill their needs with food and shelter. There's technologies to research. There is multiplayer for a co-op mode with your friends or join other hosted lobbies. And you traverse the universe, which is full of unexpected events and you get to discover unknown dangerous things. So yeah, Astro Colony, it's a lot, it's very ambitious, it's going well so far in early access and should be releasing sometime over the next year. In a similar vein, Foundry. You build a factory in an infinite simulated voxel world. You mine resources, craft machinery, and automate your research to progress. Face logistical challenges by planning and building a conveyor belt and pipe network, manage a complex power system, and you expand your constantly growing production lines. So we kind of know how these games are going at this point. They're all sort of going in that satisfactory direction, but with their own twists and turns. In Foundry, you'll be automating everything, starting small and building up in a sci-fi factory. You expand worldwide in a procedurally generated voxel world, and each block can be destroyed and new blocks for terrain and buildings can be placed Place to shape the world to fit your desires. You could build a sprawling factory on a mountain, in the jungle, or in the deepest mine. And there is multiplayer, you can play together. So you can go it alone or play co-op with your friends, with up to four players. And interestingly, they allow LAN, which not all multiplayer games allow these days. But if you have a LAN setup, you can play Foundry over a LAN connection. I kind of miss those days, those were good days. LAN parties, you could have a LAN party with Foundry. <laughs> But yeah, overall, this one does look like it's got a lot of promise. It is just coming soon at the moment, but it does plan to release into early access. So we probably won't get the full version in 2024 as they plan to stay in early access for more than a year. But it looks like it's come a long way already, so we can expect to have it playable in early access in 2024 and then maybe 2025 for a full release for Foundry. Then we have Tectonica, a first-person factory automation game, but this one is set beneath the surface of an alien planet. You work alone or in co-op to build factories, gather resources, research new technologies, and you mold the destructible terrain, establish a base of operations, and uncover long-forgotten secrets. We know the drill, <laughs> get it, of Tectonica in this style of game, but the thing that sets this one apart is one, the environments are just really beautiful. It looks really nice, it looks really alien, and there is a unique kind of interesting story to go along with it. As you go through and build things, you're also uncovering these mysteries and characters. But of course, the core gameplay is building machines, automating everything, creating sprawling factories, exploring and discovering what lies in this underground alien world where you can dig anywhere with a black hole gun. So, you know, it's a gun that just sucks up whatever you want. And you uncover the sci-fi mystery of what really happened on this alien planet. So Tectonica has been in early access for a little bit at this point, since the middle of 2023. And I know this is a list for 2024, but this one is already starting to take off. So I'm going to include it here because people are playing it now, but it's in development through 2024. However, it has to be said that full release, they are being generous with their time here. Full release is planned for after three years of early access. So they're not planning to finish Tectonica until 2026. However, with many of these sorts of simulation games, 
they tend to be kind of finished games already early on. You know, Factorio itself took eight years to finish, but you know, people were playing and enjoying it like a finished game way before then. So I'm gonna list Tectonica right now for 2024 because it is definitely playable and it's received very positive reviews, 80 plus percent already. So it's going well. And if you want to jump into early access, you can do it now. But if you're waiting for full release, then it's gonna be some years for Tectonica. Then of course, after all of those games, I just have to mention Satisfactory. We all know about this one. It's been in early access since the middle of 2020. So we're approaching four years in early access. It is very, very popular. It's got overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, over 100,000 user reviews at 97% positive, but it's still technically an early access, so here it is. But I don't think you need me to tell you much about this game. I mean, it's a first-person automation factory resource gathering world exploration on an alien planet kind of game. And I think it's sort of set off the trend of many of these other games we've been seeing towards the end of this list. And you know, there's a big chance that since it's been so long that Satisfactory actually gets a 1.0 release in 2024, but I think at this point it doesn't really matter because it's already so developed and there's already so much content and there's so much to do and it works in co-op multiplayer or you can play it solo. You know, there's factory building and vehicles and mining of resources on a massive world. So yeah, that's satisfactory. It's good. <laughs> You can check it out if you haven't already. I don't think you have to wait for 1.0 release. It's an early access and people are loving and playing Satisfactory more than many other released games already. So yeah, if you haven't checked out Satisfactory, go have a look at least because it's a safe bet because there's very little risk jumping into this game. So yeah, I think if you're not already, you can be very satisfied with Satisfactory. Okay, then for a bonus one, I'm going to mention Factorio, which of course, Factorio is not an upcoming game for 2024. However, there is one thing upcoming, which I think a lot of people weren't really banking on, which is an expansion. So Factorio is the factory game that basically blew up this subgenre of simulation games. I mean, factory conveyor belt games have always been a thing, but Factorio exploded. It was in development for like eight years, I think it was, and it just it's just so popular and it's exactly what it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's another one, 97% positive on Steam. It's good. There even is a free demo for you to try if you're not too sure, so you can just try it and then get it. If you haven't heard, the expansion on the way is called Factorio Space Age. The developer is now bringing you to space. The factory, the Factorio factory, onto a basically moving factory spaceship. And it's still early days, but there is a lot of information written out. You know, there's sort of a main structure and platforms and you build your factory on top of that platform. And you gather resources floating through space and use those to progress science. And there's a whole plan on how they're going to develop this. And also there's comparisons to what's already a space exploration mod, which is out there for Factorio, because modding is a thing for Factorio. But I think the main thing is to just look at this animation, sort of previewing what space age is going to be. And I think you can just judge from this image whether you're hyped or not. So yeah. Factorio, not an upcoming game, but this expansion is upcoming, and I thought I'd let you know in case you haven't heard. There you have it. Press the like button and get games using the GOG referral link below to support videos like this one. You just click the link and buy any game, it really helps. Also, thank you to all the patrons and YouTube members who very much support this channel and keeping videos like these being made. Join if you want your name on future videos. If you want to stay in the know for another genre, go to the next list video linked on the screen as I'm sure factory managers like yourself would not want to miss all the tycoon and life sim games in the other lists. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.